Fear beat Donut Shop and Storm to secure their spot. Donut Shop, they took down Storm to get the final spot in the Call of Duty Championship. So now, I think it's safe to say Donut Shop is going to be the underdog coming into that event. But they could definitely take out any of the top teams. Yeah, Donut Shop, they're definitely an underdog along with the Korean teams. Never count the Koreans out. They're good at every single video game they touch, so be cool to see what uh, what strategies they pull out for the Call of Duty Championships here. But Donut Shop, they want revenge tonight, Puckett. Yeah, all right. Uh, Coley, can you just pipe down over there? Just eat your Chex Mix. We stop yelling about Koreans and StarCraft. And All right, so we're going to jump back into this action, and let's go through the map pool, Revan. It's now officially starting. It's the pro scrims. We're going to be playing all the maps that are not very popular amongst the pro circuit, but they're in the Call of Duty Championships rotation. So we got Hardpoint Plaza, Search and Destroy Cargo, CTF Hijacked. No, exp CTF oh, sorry, Express. CTF Express. Yeah. Hardpoint Hijacked. CTF Hijacked would be crazy. <laughs> SD Plaza, CTF Slums, Hardpoint Express. S and D aftermath, and we're gonna go back to a classic. Raid will be game number nine. So if he gets all the way to a four v four tie, it's gonna be raid to finish it all. Fear, you guys don't have your mics in, but go ahead and switch colors if you're good to go. Donut shop, are you guys good? Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. I'm gonna launch the game. Then. Let's do it. It's Plaza Hardpoint for game number one, a map we haven't seen since our game battles tournaments many moons ago, Revan. Mm -hmm. So. We need to take a look at the initial spawns of all the players. That's going to determine who's going to have control of Bart off the start. And that's really the most important hard point to lock down, especially when it comes around the second time around. We're going to see teams rack up a lot of time on this hard point, And you just need to make the entry kills with your submachine guns. This is a map where your subs are going to shine. Whoa. All right. Captain so I need to turn on some uh, mini-map action. Boom. Hard Team colors on. We're good to go. Oh. Let them have go. We've yeah, turn. Forward. There we go. We good. We good. All right, we got Moho on our screen to start this one. He's gonna be spawning at blue. Assassin John and Sharpie already in the hill, and you said it. This is the most important hard point to lock down. Once you have three guys in there, how do you break it? Because it looks like Lynx. He just charged in with this. He's probably, he might be using, uh, he's using MSMC. MSMC, but usually you'll see teams try to take out the Scorpion because it's a very close range environment in there. So you'll take out the Scorpion in high rate of fire, and there you have it. Donut Shop, they broke the setup, and now they're locking it down. Still 20 seconds to be had on this current hard point. But I'm looking at the minimap. Fear, they're making the right play. They're only sending one guy. It's going to be John trying to break with Moho. Short, uh, not that far behind him, but they're focused on spawns for the next hard point, which is what you want to do. They're going to contest for as long as they can. But they're really focused about the next one. We're going over to the gold room here. And we'll see. It looks like Fear. They're going to have initial spawns with Sharp as the anchor. Goonjar already has his score streaks. He's going to try and take out that anchor. And can you actually cut a Hellstorm in there to take off the anchor player? Uh, I don't think you'll be able to kill Sharp because he's behind the counter here. But you might be able to do some damage. You know, if they were closer to the door, definitely you'd be able to kill them. But now Donut Shop, they're able to break the setup once again. John, he's the lone player alive for Fear. As you see on the mini map, they're all rotating, trying to get over there. John, he gets taken out, moving over to Assassin. He's in the hard point with his AN94. He gets cleaned up as well. So Donut Shop, you know, I think they predicted themselves to lose this map, but they're off to a hot start. Yeah, 42 to 13, a great start there. Gucci are getting caught in the hallway. Sharpie was the last one alive for uh, Fear and he is holding down the position now fear with control and sharpie he's gonna go for another one is picked off but john and moho are still happy in the hill yeah john's definitely the player you want to watch on team fear he's just gonna rack up so many kills i mean you know donut shop the in the creek and lobby they were worried about this guy if john catches fire it's gonna be really tough for donut shop to uh, come back so let's go full screen with the man of the hour john he's got a player to his right picks up the first kill and as we take a look at the mini-map, you can see those green arrows from Donut Shop starting to rotate. John's going to have three more players coming from his right, and he will be picked off. Let's take a look at what... Actually, let's stay on board with them. As I look down at the mini-map, it looks like it's just going to be all eight players constantly charging in. Assassin and Moho, they're spawning over by the Lambos, and look what Moho's doing. He's going from the middle. What do you think about this play on plot? It's good, but you need to dedicate yourself to one side. You need to have a plan when you go in familiar. You're like, all right, I'm going to challenge red, or I'm going to challenge blue side on Debo. And this is the hard point where you want to use your score streaks to get them through the top windows and pick up multiple kills. Now, Moho throwing down the trophy system. I like that play, but he gets taken out by Immortal. But fear, they need to hold down one hard point. You know, there are 20 seconds left here on Debo. 
They need to start making the rotation over towards the blue shop. And uh, I'm looking at the mini map. Donut shop, they're already there with Gunjar holding down the small. I was going to say, Sharpie, he is going to be the anchor for Fear. So I'm going to keep an eye on him, see how he plays this. There's definitely a player in blue. He's going to find Gunjar, picks up the kill on the injured Goon. And now we have Immortal on a three kill spree, uh, setting up for the hill. He might get his score streaks here, yep. and he does. So Sentry Gun is now available. When do you throw it down on Plaza? What's going to be the most beneficial hill? The one right after this, when we go to the middle, you're going to be able to lock down either them pushing through the middle pillars or gold or blue side, which is so ben beneficial for your team, especially if you get some trophy systems down on it. It's we'll see if it, it all depends if they could rotate there early enough. They need to rotate around the 30-second mark to that middle hardpoint just because it's so crucial to hold down. We see teams that are able to get all the time on it when it gets there. And Immortal, he is going to be on a six kill spree. The captain showing off contested. his skills. Let's stay on board with him since he has the nice, kill streaks spawn, available. Too. Good spawn, as you just said. And let's see where he decides to throw this down. It looks like the middle was the plan. <laughs> Could not find that happy spot behind the bar, and he was picked off. 122 to 50, though, as Fear is slowly gaining time. But down 70 seconds, they really need a lot of momentum to change here. You know, they were only gaining time there because Donut Shop made the investment to set up here on this middle hardpoint. And we'll see if it's about to pay off. They had that sentry gun, so it's going to be really tough. Oh, there you go. They didn't put down the trophy system. No more sentry gun, but still. Immortal with an assault rifle when you're set up in the middle uh, hardpoint here. You need to be looking over towards the middle pillar set up behind the bar. But he's doing a great job here at Blue. Dude, this is the, this is a mortal spot. He's just picked up the triple, going for four. Was able to pick up hit markers, but he goes down. The last one is Gunjar in the hill. Finally, Hard Grim getting contested. in there to back him up. And this is just a great setup here from Donut Shop. The spawns flipping. They need to turn their attention. And Grim, he's going to pick up even more kills in the middle. Meanwhile, it looks like Gunjar, he's going to start to rotate, try and get Grim those yellow spawns. I love that play from Dia. Oh, without a doubt, just making sure his back was clear, because if you want to try to break the hard point, you really need to try to push from all three sides. And we saw earlier, on, Fear, let's go, let's go. they started to rotate a bit earlier to get the spawn points. Look at the minimap, they're already there now. So Gunjar was just checking his back, heads up play. But Fear, they need to start getting time, and it all starts with this hard point. They need around 45 seconds if they want to start coming back. They this cannot one. be happy. This is not the start to the pro scrim they wanted. Down by 120 seconds. And look at the spawns they're getting now. Donut Shop, they have control. There's one player left alive in the back. It's going to be Sharp, but he's just going to get pinched here by all the Donut Shop players. He's cleaned up. And Fear, they just need to hike across the map, and that gives Donut Shop an extra 15 seconds to their lead. Assassin still on our screen while Donut Shop is inside of that hard point. He will get cut down before he can get into the hill. Moho, think? he's going to watch his teammate John get picked off, but he's able to break behind enemy lines. Meanwhile, though, three still in the hill for DS. Someone needs to go big for Fear, or game number one is all but over. You know, it just seems that Fear, they make the rotation, but they never hold their setup. If you look at Donut Shop, they are always holding their setup. They're making the kills. They're winning their gunfights, and you just don't see that from the Fear side. In fact, let's go full screen. Let's take a look at our scoreboard here, and I think that'll tell a better story. Yeah, look at that. I mean, 13 and 20 from Moho. It looks like most of them, they're all negative here. And look at the Donut Shop guys. Gunjar, he's 20 and 13. Uh, Lynx, he's 21 and 4. And look at the defense column, that man. That, that's really the story of the game right there. 9, 9, and 9 for Lynx, Immortal, and Gunjar just locking down those hard points once they get in there. John, he's going to pick up one, going for a second. Good charge, but he's cleaned up his teammate Moho right behind him. Shots coming from all directions, though. As Donut Shop sent a flanker, it was Grim. He picks up the three-piece on a nice triple. I mean, you saw John, he switched it up to an assault rifle. He recognized, you know what, we need some slaying power. We need it now. Clearly, we're lacking in the slayer department, so he switches to an assault rifle there. He's using the AN-94. Very powerful gun, medium range. We'll see if he's able to make it work, though. They're running out of time, just three minutes left on the clock, nearing the 100 point mark as it looks like the next hill is going to be rotating in 13 seconds. John's aware of it, he's trying to get there. Sharp, he's that anchor and he has switched over to the MSMC. So what is Sharp's game plan right now and have you seen Sharp do this in the past? Um, you know, it just maybe his assault rifle shot is not on right now, but the next few hardpoints that are coming up, they're definitely sub-dominated. I mean, look, we're in the blue shop, very close quarter, the middle, Bar very close quarters, so maybe he's just switching up to adapt to the environment he's going to be fighting in. But Fear, they're just not making the kills right now. They're really lacking. I mean, look at the kill feed. Now Fear, they're starting to step their game up, but it just might be too late. As Donut Shop, they only need 25 seconds to close out this map. Oh my goodness. Donut Shop looking so strong here. Up by 115 points. Sharpie breaking in for Fear. And he is going to take down Grim. So... 
The hill momentarily locked down by Fear. It is going to the middle bar after this. So they could get 60 full seconds as we saw Donut Shop do earlier. And let's stay on board with the Captain Moho. I want to see what he's doing in the hill. He's got 14 more seconds here. And then eventually we got to go to John. Actually, let's go to him now. He's on a five kill spree. Make it six after that one. And Fear, they've been getting the sloppy seconds off every single hard point. They've got the last 10, the last 15. And that really doesn't help. Donut Shop, they're making great investments into their setups, and it's paying off. But Fear, don't count them out just yet. They could still do this. They just need every single point. Immortal picks up two. John, watching the middle. He's got his score streaks to work with, too. So we'll see if he's able to use them effectively. Moho's picked off from the left, and John, his flank is not washed. No one called it out for him. And that's just kind of sloppy communication at this point in the game. Donut Shop, they're in here. This game is over as Immortal and friends are going to be rocking MMS scanners on their MSMCs. Grim, he just needs four more seconds. This kill could gain him those. Unfortunately, the Moho breaks in with Sharpie and John. It's all up to Sharpie. He falls as Lynx and Gunjar will collide in the hill, and that is it. 250 to 140. Can't wait to see our stats. I mean, Fear, traditionally, they've struggled in hardpoint, and Donut Shop, they really put on a clinic right there. They rotated effect they held their subs, they won their gunfights. I mean, look at Lynx. Great team push by Donut Shop. Lynx come around the back while one player comes through blue. Fear, they fo all focus on blue. Lynx picks up a couple kills, and let's take a look at our scoreboard. 10, 10, 11 in the defense column. You know what? That's the game right there. 34 and 25 at the top there. I believe it was Lynx. Not quite sure. Congrats, though, to Donut Shop. They take game number one. Guys, we're going to take a 60-second commercial break. When we come back, we'll have game number two, S&D on Cargo.